Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I recently saw a video on Lisa Stevens' channel, which I think is pretty fun. It's called the YouTube Beauty Community Tag. I think it's a pretty interesting tag and I'm gonna do it myself. I have the 10 questions with me on my phone and let's get started. I'm not gonna do a disclaimer on this video because nobody fucking listened to it anyway. The first question is, what are your favorite videos to watch? That definitely changed throughout the time. Uh, right now, I'm more into lifestyle videos and the other day I binge watched how to clean your bathroom. I watched maybe 10 of them and I did my own bathroom. So I think it's more to the lifestyle side, Some maybe some cooking videos. And I do enjoy decluttering videos, organizing videos, and project pan videos. I think there are something psychologically satisfying to watch. And they relax me, so that's the videos I like the most. What are your favorite videos to film? I think I like filming book videos. I like to talk about books on my channel because there are so many things to say. You know, you can talk about the plot in the books and you can tell people whether you think the book is good or bad and why is that. And you can point out why you like one specific character or whether you hate them and also how they make you feel you know throughout the process that when you were reading it I think that is you have a lot of stuff to say but when I talk about a makeup product I have to organize my thoughts because I don't think that profoundly when I'm using lipstick you know it's uh, pigmented it's creamy it's comfortable and that's basically it so my favorite videos to film is still my book videos and also I like doing project pen the third question is, what are your least favorite videos to watch? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I freaking hate first impression videos. I think there's something fundamentally wrong about first impressions. You know why the big YouTubers do first impression videos, right? Because they got a bunch of shit from PR and they have to show it on the channel. Otherwise, the companies might not send them shit might not take them to this fucking island for them to swatch stuff, you know? So they have to do it. And since they got so many things and they can't show it individually, and they just came up with this genius idea, oh, I'm just gonna jam this 20 products into one video and show people, I've done my job, I showed my what is on my PR list. Yeah, we get it, even though they're not legally required to say nice things about them. But still, but you have seen how they do this first impression videos, right? They have three highlighters on the left cheek and on the right cheek and then the last cream highlighter maybe and they will pat it on and there's oh, see how blinding it is. I definitely recommend this. It's amazing. And if they see something that doesn't work that well and it's got caught on the camera and obviously, maybe I use this wrong. Maybe it's not for my skin type. If you buy that and it doesn't work for you, we all have different skin types. It's not my fault. And it, it just seems so ungenuine. Ingenuine, ungenuine. I don't know, it just seemed really not genuine. And that's probably the only time you're gonna see all those products on their channel because they don't have time. If you wanna see like a parody, of me doing like a beauty guru parody kind of video I will put put it on the screen somewhere and I think that's how they think in their head to be honest okay I think this has turned into a rant video which is not my intention so let's move on yeah my least favorite video is first impression oh and the second least favorite video to watch is vlog I'm not talking about the really beautifully filmed vlog, you know. There are some people doing really fancy vlogs. At least that's something nice to see. But there are some vlogs that wake up. Good morning, people. Uh, I just woke up. I'm sorry, I don't have makeup on my face. I'm gonna have coffee, I'm gonna walk my dog, and I'm gonna brush my teeth, and I'm gonna do yoga. Who gives a shit? I, I know what people do in the morning. You, you forgot to mention that you gotta 
pee and take a shit. You, you forgot to mention that, you know, put that in your morning routine. <sighs> okay, let's move on to the next question. What is your favorite part of the beauty community? I think I recently found a good thing about the beauty community because I used to think it's extremely stupid to call like this the YouTube beauty community. I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm weird and too cynical, I don't know. I think I recently felt it. You know, my videos are not the best. Well, no shit. Sometimes I feel really insecure about it because it doesn't turn out the way I want it to be. Maybe I have been watching like really nice videos so I feel really insecure and feel really shitty about my own video and my channel. But every time I post something and I was nervous, you know, I was like, uh, do people gonna like this? Uh, are they gonna hate this? But most of the comments I got are really, really nice. And people actually go all the way to write such a long comment to me. And I, it just made me feel really good. And it made me realize, oh my God, there are actually people enjoying watching my videos. And that, that is really, really motivative. And I got way more compliments on my YouTube channel than in my life all combined, if you you know what I mean. Because in real life, even with your good friends, they don't go out and say, I really love your personality. I love what, what you're doing. I hope you're doing even better in your life. They don't say that. So I think that is definitely really motivative and to make me think that I have people actually like me, that's a nice feeling. It, it might it might come out of the vanity part of people, but that definitely makes you feel good. If sometimes I get one nice comment in the morning, it just made my day. And I, I don't know, it's such a maybe stupid thing to say to admit, you know, but it's true. And that's what I like about beauty community, that people are generally really nice. At least the comments I got are really positive, like those beauty gurus always say, positive. And the next question is, what is your least favorite part of the beauty community? <sighs> I don't, I never really, like I said, I never see all this as like a beauty community. But I do notice that all the famous one, all the famous YouTubers, after they got to a certain point, maybe after they have 100k, they all look the same dress the same and talk the same and they all like the same products at the same time and the videos they do are pretty much the same such as the my beauty room tour name one youtuber or beauty group even though i hate that word they don't have a ikea white table with maybe four or eight drawers that full of makeup and a clear makeup organizer on top and they got that lipstick you know that they can fit lipstick organizer that can fit maybe 100 lipstick that you you can turn i don't know what's it called white table drawers full of makeup all white and then the lipstick holder and they're just the same you know and I don't know how that happened. I think one person saw the other and they started doing that and all of a sudden like a white table for makeup is a standard on YouTube. I don't know why is that, you know. And the style are pretty much the same, like beige clothes. I don't know. I, I think that is, that is pretty sad. I think I don't really like the similarity between all those big youtubers you know so i think my least part of the beauty community is the lack of creativity and uniqueness is that a word uniqueness yeah i wish there there are more creative people on youtube it, in the beauty community and if you guys know anybody like that please let me know maybe i have been watching the same type of people i don't know just let me know if you have some good recommendations. The sixth question is, what motivated you to start your channel? I think I wanted to start my channel to talk about books, but I also like makeup. 
and like I said before in my video, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. So the seventh question is, who most inspires you on YouTube? I think the people who used to inspire me on YouTube, I don't like them anymore because there are a thousand of them on YouTube now and like I said, they're pretty much the same. Before I came here to America three years ago, you know, China doesn't have YouTube, everything is pretty much banned. And after I got here the second day, you know, I bought a laptop and I started to watch YouTube. The first person that I subscribed to is Catherine Lights. You know, I used to think she, I still think she is very sweet, you know. She's not so dramatic as the other people. She doesn't have too much drama. But the way she apologized for using the N-word, that is bullshit. He said, I never talk like that. I, I've seen the clip. Yeah, you definitely say, say that a lot in real life. Nobody just say the N-word after they're drunk, you know, and... You could tell the way she said it, she have said it before. There's no <laughs> argument to that. You know, just own up to it, 100%. I watched her apology, I think on Snapchat maybe? I already know what she's gonna say before I start watching the apology. I own up to it, it's 100% my fault, but let me grow. Please give me a chance to grow and I want to learn more. I want to learn more about racism. So, you know, I just forgive me. And uh, I, I'm, I'm all about po positivity. You know, I want my channel to bring people joy. If you fucked up, then just say, yep, I fucked up. It's embarrassing that it got posted online. I have to own up to my shit. I'm willing to deal with the consequences, but forgive me out of the goodness of your heart. I'm not a racist person. I'm just ignorant to say that. I think I thought it was okay to say that and I said it. I won't say it again. Just just say that, you know, don't don't bullshit. I never said it before. That's not me. I don't know, just my opinion. I still watch her though. Well, I guess that hasn't answered the question who inspires me on YouTube, huh? I think it's Kimberly Clark. She's pretty funny and she started the whole anti-haul thing on YouTube. I love her anti-haul videos so much. I watch it over and over again. But recently I just thought, you know, after she got the new background, I think it wasn't as funny as before. But that's understandable after you got a lot of new followers and the stuff you say you have to be really careful because people are not oh god so because people are not gonna be on the same page with you all the time which is pretty sad i wish she could keep the anti how videos going the next question is number one thing you would change about the youtube beauty community mm, i think the whole drama channel needs to calm the fuck down. Jeffree Star's boyfriend's brother moved out of Jeffree Star's house. Nobody gives a shit. The next question. Number one advice for other creators or new people starting out a channel. I don't think I am qualified to give other people advice, but open a channel when you have something that you want to share that you haven't seen before. Not only, Not just because other people have it and they seem they're having fun so I'm just gonna join you know but who am I to say the last question is what do you love about YouTube as a whole I think in real life if you tell people I watch YouTube all the time it's probably not that impressive and up until now I haven't told anyone that I make YouTube videos just people I know in real life I never told anyone except my boyfriend but people who do actually watch YouTube know that you can get a lot of useful information out of YouTube and it's actually a pretty fun way to kill some time. There's nothing actually bad about it like other people think it is, you know. So I think that's pretty much how I feel about YouTube. It's pretty cool, but also I don't want to spend too much of my time just watching YouTube videos. But when I do, I enjoyed it and you can find anything on YouTube. For those people who actually say watching YouTube all the time is pretty dumb. But you know, I learned how to cook based on YouTube. I learned how to 
clean, you know, how to really, really clean the bathroom from YouTube. And I learned a lot of things that I wouldn't have known before on YouTube. So I think that's pretty much the cool thing of YouTube, that you could get some really useful information and also have entertainment as well. Okay, so those are the 10 questions on this tag. I didn't prepare my answers before I started filming. I just basically said whatever on my head, but my head probably might be fucked up, so I don't know. I know I was being pretty harsh on the big YouTubers, but that is genuinely how I feel. I know nowadays, if you don't support a woman, if you talk shit about a woman, then you're a woman hater. But sometimes I feel like it's okay not to support someone, you know, and don't support someone just because she's a woman. We all do fucked up things, you know. So it wasn't my intention to bash anyone, and I didn't think I mentioned anyone's name. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you think I made any sense at all in my video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. It's probably going to be a book video. If you're interested, definitely stay tuned. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!